Hey guys, John here at the Strong Life Club. Today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about what are the best exercises for you and your fat loss and body composition goals. Now, as you know, we're very tailored to the individual and that's how it should be if you're looking to really transform your health, your body and your confidence. So listen to the next few points I'm gonna take you through so you know which exercises are the best and that you're gonna make the best progress with. So firstly, we need to get exercises and perform exercises that we can perform safely and as optimally as possible. Now there's this notion that you have to do certain exercises to get the best results. And it simply just isn't true. Such as you have to squat, barbell back squat for, for the best lower body progression. And it isn't the case. If you're someone that really struggles with putting a bar on the back and performing a squat due to mobility or just knowledge, then it's not gonna be the best exercise for you. Possibly locking yourself down into more of a machine environment, like a leg press or a leg extension, will be where you need to start first. So pick an exercise uh, that you can do optimally and safely. Now the second thing you wanna think about is can you actually connect with the working muscle? And we've talked about this before in other videos, but being able to feel that working muscle, that target muscle that you're trying to train. So if you're looking at doing a hip thrust and bar across your hips and you're trying to train your glutes, can you actually contract and feel your glutes working in that movement? If you're trying to do a, a, a press down on the cables, can you actually feel your triceps contracting? Instead of just going into the gym and just performing movements, can you actually feel the working muscle work through the full range? And this will give you a very good idea that that exercise is very good for you. If you're doing an exercise that you can't really feel that, that target muscle, then we may need to change things up and replace it with one that you can really contract a muscle and take it through its full available range. The third thing I want to talk about is can you apply tension uh, without bringing other muscle groups into the movement. So using again machines and things like that where you can lock yourself into is going to be very beneficial. So take for instance a seated leg extension. So you're really trying to train the quads. Can you pull yourself into the machine? Can you actually contract your quads and keep them under tension through the full range? without bringing some other muscle group in to assist in that movement. So think about applying tension as best you can through a movement. And the last one I want to talk about, can you progress your lift? So movements that you can gradually over time, very slowly add more weight or add more reps or add more volume is going to be a real good sign that you're getting as much as you can from that exercise and it suits you. So over time, can you add more weight to the bar, add more weight to the, to the machine, or could you add reps and sets? This is a real good sign that you're making progress. Things you really want to stay away from are any exercises that are not safe or they hurt. These are big, big signs and signals to change things up. Or you're unable to really kind of connect with the working muscle through the full range of movement. It just doesn't feel right. And you're unable to progress your lifts and your numbers. These are big, big signs that things need to probably uh, shift and you need to look at other uh, exercise options. I hope this has been helpful guys and give you some clarity on what exercises you should be doing and what to stay away from and how to progress uh, with your fat loss and body composition goals.